Hello, this is Stephen, and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the new cache tutorial. It is going to be a basic tutorial in which I will talk about the functionality of GNU Cache. Now, GNU Cache is a free accounting software distributed under GNU GPL, and it is available for Linux, BSD, Solaris, and Mac. And it can be downloaded by going to www.gnucache.org. So once you're at the GNU Cache homepage, you want to scroll down and go to the left hand side under Documentation and click on Download. <coughs> now we're going to click on the download link. Select the appropriate version for your Windows operating system. I'm selecting the Microsoft Windows XP Vista 7 option. And this will take me to the SourceForge website and the download should start shortly from that website. So here we are at SourceForge and I'm going to download the file. So you want to run the file and let it download onto your system. So once the installer has been downloaded, I'm going to launch the installer to start the setup. Now select the language, I'm choosing English and hit OK. And the setup process starts. So click next for the GNU uh, setup wizard. And you want to accept the license agreement and click next. Now you have the option to select the folder where you want the new cache to be installed. So you can choose any folder. I'm selecting it to the standard folder and clicking on next. On this screen, you can select the component you want to install. I'm selecting the full installation, and you also have the option to do custom installation. So click Next. And on this screen, you can select a folder in which Start Menu Item will be created. The default is GNU Cache, and I'm going to leave it as is, and click on Next. On this screen, you can choose where to put the shortcut to launch your GNU cache and I'm selecting mine uh, as desktop icon and the start menu link and click next and then hit install. So once you see this window it's completing the GNU cache setup wizard and you want to hit on finish and by now you should have an icon of GNU cache on your desktop and go ahead and click on that to launch your GNU cache. To launch GNU cache for the first time, it prompts you to create a new file in which GNU cache will create your account. GNU cache can have multiple files. For example, you may want to keep your business files in one account and personal files in another. So I'm going to click forward to create the file and then select the currency, currency to be used for the account. So here I'm selecting US dollars and you have a list of options and click forward. So now it gives me an option to select a purpose for creating the account. So these are all my account types. So for example, your purpose could be something as simple as a checkbook or business account or it could even be um, child, care, child care expenses. <coughs> So you can select your purpose and GNU Cash will automatically create accounts needed for your purpose. And you can have more than one purpose, in which case you will just check all of your purposes. So my purpose is business and I'm going to select business account and make sure I haven't selected anything else. So business account and click forward. Now the next screen, you can change the account names. So I can go on this account name and double click and I have the option to edit and change accounts receivable name. And I can also input their opening balances on the right hand side. So let's say I have $5,000 in my savings account. So I'm looking for savings account. I double click on the right hand side and I input 5000 and hit enter. And I have $10,000 in my checking account. So same thing, double click on the right side and enter $10,000 and hit enter. So 
So now we click apply to create the account and GNU Cache prompts you to save the file that it just created for you. So I'm going to hit apply to create the new account and this pop-up window will come up. And I'm going to save mine as business account. Save as. So once you do that, this is going to bring you to the main GNU Cache window, which is the accounts tree window. So as you can see, there are five different categories. We have assets, equity, expenses, income, and liabilities. So I will expand the assets account tree. And as you can see, we have accounts receivable in which you can maintain your payments that you need to collect for the goods you sold. Then we have another subgroup called the current assets, under which we have the checking account, petty cash, and savings account. So as you see, the opening balances are already there. We have $5,000 in savings and $10,000 in checking in my current assets account. Now I'm expanding the equity account group and as you can see the total of checking and savings account opening balances has been credited to the opening balances account. And equity accounts represent the money which has been Invested by the owners of the business as compared with liabilities, which is money borrowed from others for the business. So all of the money collected from equity and liability is used to buy assets, which means that some of our equity and liabilities would always be equal to assets. Now this is also called a basic accounting equation. So you can double click any of these accounts. So let's say I double click on my checking and it brings me to this window right here. And you can see that in the green it shows the actual transaction and um, it's going to give me a description, opening balance, transfer type equity, and the deposit of $10,000. And um, this window that opens up is called the account registered window. Now you can also add more transactions um, from the account registered window, but there's a more convenient way, which is the transfer window, and we will talk about that shortly. And at the very top, we have the menu option, which we probably would be using frequently throughout this program. So let's close this. And remember in accounting, any money that comes into an account has to come from another account, which means every debit in an account leads to credit in another account. So assets, our assets, equity, and liability are called a balance sheet account. And these are real accounts which represent physical things, that is, things like factory, equipment, cash, loans, etc. Now the income and expenses accounts are the nominal account and they're used to make changes to the balance sheet account. So let's now look at transfer. For this we need to go to actions menu and click on transfer. The transfer fund window opens up. So there we go. Now also the shortcut to this window is control plus T. So if you just hit control and T at the same time it will pop up your transfer funds window. And let's say I sold goods worth $1,500, so I input $1,500 in the amount, and I select the current date of transfer, so today's date, and number is optional, and it is just a number to identify your transaction, so I'm going to leave it blank, and in the description field, you can type a description of the transaction, and I'm typing sale of computer hardware. And now I will select the account from which to transfer the funds. Now this money is generating from sales, so I expand the income account. So under my income accounts tree, I'm going to select sales. And on the right hand side, I can select which accounts to transfer the money into. Now the sale of $1,500 was on credit, so I select accounts receivable, which is under my assets accounts tree, so I go to assets, expand that, and select accounts receivable. And now we click OK. So as you can see the current balance in our assets 
and income has changed by the same amount, that is $1,500. Now, there are some tools available in GNU Cash, which you can use in your day-to-day -day accounting practices. So let's see a couple of them. Go to Tools menu and click on General Ledger. Now, this shows you a list of all the transactions done on all the accounts. And in the green, it shows us the, this, the description of the transaction. And in gray, it shows us the accounts affected by them. Now, you can close the general ledger. And let's go back to Tools menu once again and click on Financial Calculator. Now, Financial Calculator is good for calculating time value of money. So you can put the payment period, interest rate, present value, periodic payment, and the future value and calculate that. So we can close this for now. Now, GNU Cash also allows you to generate financial reports. And all the report types are available in the reports menu. So we go to reports. And let's go to assets and liabilities. And the first report we're going to look at is balance sheet. So let's select balance sheet. Now, this is a year's end report, and it shows the current balances in the real accounts, that is assets and um, liability and equity. So as you can see, that the total assets ending balance, so my total assets ending balance is equal to my total liability, total liability and total equity ending balance. So let's close this for now. And um, let's go back to our report and assets and liability. And let's look at general ledger. So, I'm sorry, I meant to say report, assets and liability. And now we're going to go to general journal report. And this is a similar report to the general ledger screen we were in some time back. And it shows the same information. But it is in our report view, so and you have the option to print this as well. So let's close this for now. Let's now look at some of the income and expense reports. So once again, go back to report, income and expense, and now we're going to click on the income statement. So I'm going to select income statement. <coughs> and this report shows the ending balances in all the income and expenses accounts. So income accounts are listed at the top, while all the expenses are listed at the bottom of the report. Now at the very end of the report, it shows the net income, the net of income and expenses, which is your net income. So my net income for the period is showing all the way at the bottom after the expenses and the Again. Let's close this for now. Let's now go back to reports once again and go to income and expense and click on cash flow. Now, cash flow, it is the statement of a report, you know, showing the ending cash balance at the end of the report. So, the cash flow in most cases is different from net income because of the introduction of non-cash items such as depreciation, amortization, and accounts payable. So this is a cash flow of the whole year, and it shows the money in and the money out and the difference, whatever is left over. Let's close this for now. Let's go back to the reports and talk about the last report we're going to talk about, which is right under income and expense and we are looking for an equity statement. And this report, we're not going to save it at this time, so let's go back to reports and income and expense, and let's go to equity statement. And this report shows the changes in owner's equity over the accounting period. So this is the equity statement for the whole year with the starting capital and increase in capital and the year-end capital. And let's close this for now. So those were some of the basic reports that GNU Cash offers. And I hope this tutorial is helpful to you and you guys will use some of these reports. Thank you for watching.